What's going on guys, it's Nathan. So, <clears throat> I just binged the entirety of Breaking Bad for the very first time uh, this past month, and it was an incredible journey that left me extremely broken, extremely, extremely heartbroken for Jesse's character. So, the fact that this movie El Camino is coming, um, I knew it was coming before I watched Breaking Bad, but now that I got through the entirety of Breaking Bad and know where Jesse was left off and how torturous his life has been. I just need proper closure for this character and I'm hoping that they give it to him in El Camino. So I am very much looking forward to this film. Um, our first real look at the film is in this teaser that just premiered. So I'm not going to waste any more time. i got queue up right here. Here we go. It started when neighbors reported hearing hundreds of gunshots fired. When Albuquerque police arrived, they discovered the bodies of nine male victims, many shot multiple times. Veteran police officers calling the level of carnage, quote, staggering. Apparently, a remote-controlled machine gun was used in the killings. Investigators are searching for a person of interest who fled the scene. Anyone with information on this massacre is asked to call police immediately. God, I love how little they're showing in select theaters. My God, I gotta make it. I gotta make it to that. It's insane, just how little they're showing of this film, and I love that. Um, I had seen the date announcement teaser and the Enchanted trailer, which the Enchanted trailer is incredibly edited and depressing. Um. God, Jesse's still torn up because that's who he is. Uh, he, it's, it sucks because Jesse is genuinely such a good person in such a horrible world that he lives in. And every time he's tried to be his best self, it's never worked out for him in this world. And everything has taught him that it shouldn't be that way. He shouldn't be this way if he wants to get ahead somewhere, but he just can't. He's just naturally good. Oh god, I've been watching like a lot of video essays and stuff on Breaking Bad, um, especially with Jesse, because God, I love that character so much, and he was put through so much turmoil, um, especially after having to be roped in countless times by Walter White, whom I very much dislike, and I think that is definitely the point they had. Uh, you know, he's an irredeemable character, even though he has taken steps toward semi-redemption by the end but he's obviously too far gone um it's really interesting um i heard news that um mike's character is going to be in el camino i don't know how they're going to do that um it's poses the same thing to bring brian cranston back um is it back um is it going to be flashback i would hope that's all there is because when a character dies it's important that they remain dead so that their death still remains significant um just these last few days have been really difficult to handle because of how insane an emotional roller coaster Breaking Bad was, especially by the end, just watching a family be torn apart. It's just awful. And I just throughout, I was like, man, Walt's kind of a jerk um, watching that the whole time. And even my friends have been uh, <laughs> like, would like bring up a little bit. Well, you're not supposed to like Walt. And I'm like, what? How? He's the main character. There's a clear reason, and I know that now. Um, but Jesse's character, I've always, through and through, watching, was uh, very much on his side the most. And I was always more intrigued by following Jesse than any of Walt's stuff. I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, that's just how I was. I just I love Jesse's character so much, and I he deserved so much better than what he got. So I'm hoping he can find his happy ending in El Camino. And we can only hope for the best. I know Skinny Pete and Badger's gonna be back. That's still gonna be awesome, so I can't wait for all that. Um I don't know if they're gonna drop another trailer. They very well could. I think Netflix has done that where they dropped a trailer like a week or two before they premiere something. 
So we could get another trailer. I don't know if I'm going to react to that. I'm going to see how I feel closer to the date, whether or not I react to it. Um, but if not, I'm so looking forward to El Camino. I don't think I'm going to make it to theaters to see it because I'm just not having this thought right now. Because I never got a chance to react to Breaking Bad, which is something I wanted to do in the past, but I decided I wouldn't. I'm just going to watch it. But not how much it's impacted me emotionally, especially with Jesse's character. I want to react to El Camino for the first time. So I'm going to do that. and I'm going to cut it down to the best bits for you guys. So if you guys love Breaking Bad, I certainly do now. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and look out for my reaction to the El Camino film because I've just decided I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, if you enjoyed this reaction, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already. And that being said, hope you have a great day. May the force be with you always.